South Boulder rolled through Region 4 in the regular season, winning each of its games by 25 or more points. Last weekend, they survived a scrappy Hedinger County team. This week, they traveled to the state's second seed in hopes of the co-op's first ever title appearance. New Rockford Cheyenne Maddock welcomed South Border, winning uh, winners onto the Dakota Bowl. After forcing a three and out, Mustangs offense takes over. Berkeley France keeps it. He finds a gap. He's off. It's 85 yards to the house, over the baseball infield dirt, and South Border is up one score. Fourth down here for the Mustangs. 16-point uh, lead now. France punts it. Connor Nataru to receive it for the Rockets. He is going to make everyone in a white jersey and black pants miss. Number 12, he's in for six points. They get the two-pointer. South Border scored a touchdown with 13 seconds before halftime. They get the second-half kickoff, and Cole Stock shrugs off basically the entire defense. He cruises all the way to the bank, and the Mustangs are cruising to their first ever Dakota Bowl. South Border hangs on to win 32-28. The other nine-man semifinal, a pair of Minot area schools, North Prairie and West Hope Newburgh Glenburg. WNG Sue and Maroon, third quarter, Walker Broughton. He rolls right after dropping back to pass, makes some time for himself, hits a diving. Will Arts in the end zone, refs confirm a touchdown. That made it 46-36, Cougars on top going into the fourth. Back to North Prairie, Blake Matson. Sneaks it in to put the visiting Cougars up 18. Blake Matson had more than 400 yards rushing today. That's pretty darn good. It helped lead the Cougars to Fargo. They're going to the Dakota Bowl for the first time since 2015. It's been more than 15 years since Trinity played for a state title. The last time was 2006. Today they had a chance to get back to the Dakota Bowl, but they had to go to the state's top team. Velva Drake, Animus Garrison looking to repeat as champs. Aggies recovered a fumble on the opening kickoff. Great A field position for quarterback Ben Shep. He throws a strike across the middle. Reggie Bruner is going to do the rest, make some men miss. He's across the goal line. Aggies convert to go up 8-0. Trinity's offense had a lengthy drive in the next possession. It's capped off with a tie Dossinger score. Extra point makes it a one-point game. To the second quarter, Dossinger, he played like he wanted to have practice this Monday, slipping through tacklers. Trinity's senior running back adds another touchdown in what ended up being a four-score game for him. Titans get the ball back just before halftime. Kova, she goes play action, looks across the field for Luke Schaub. He pulls it in and will score. Trinity scores 45 points today. They're on to Fargo for the Dakota Bowl. So let's look at the Dakota Bowl matchups. In AAA, Shanley looks to repeat as champions against a stout Minot team in an all-east affair in AA. Cringe Kindred was the other semifinal victor today in single A. They'll see the Titans, and the day gets started on Friday with South Border in North Prairie. The region swim meet wrapped up today in Bismarck. Century edges out Minot by just four and a half points. Legacy, Dickinson, and Williston round out the top five. Dickinson's Ariana Twist wins Senior Athlete of the Year, and Legacy's Thomas Wheeling wins Coach of the Year. It's been four years since North Dakota State had possession of the Dakota marker. South Dakota State has won uh, three con consecutive regular season meetings and capped off last year with a dominant win in the FCS title. Today, the program has met for the 115th time. Seems like an annual top 10 meeting between the programs. Jack Rabbits are unbeaten on the year. It's fourth and short for NDSU in the red zone in the first quarter. Cam Miller fakes the quarterback dive, floats it, and it's an insane one finger grab by Joe Stoffel inside the five. First and goal buys it. NDSU looks to put it in the end zone next. Miller again goes to pass. This time it's to Zach Mathis. He falls in the end zone with a pile of Jack Rabbits. The score was 6 0 after a blocked extra point. Now for SDSU to respond. Mark Gronowski, he hands it off to Isaiah Davis, sprinting into the yellow and blue checkers. They take a lead with the extra point. A back and forth first half is met with a controlling second half for South Dakota State. They win their fifth straight over the Bison. The Hawks were in Kentucky today. They beat Murray State for their fourth conference win of the year. Dickinson State had the opportunity to clinch their ninth straight conference title with a win over Valley City State today, and a gritty first drive gets them out in front. Blue Hawks were just taking chunk plays like this dump off to Braden Zuroff. Zuroff, he had another big day today. It's a weekly thing at this point for Zuroff. He's been the North Star's best running back all fall. Here he powers in for his first of two scores today. Dickinson State was up early. DSU kept the Vikings at an arm's length all day. Will Mather, he's going to connect 
with Colin Bowden here. He takes the hit, breaks the tackle. He's going to be down inside the 30. The field is going to flip for the second quarter. Madler puts it where only Noah Sickler can grab it. An insane diving catch. 48-17 the final. Dickinson State wins the North Star for the ninth consecutive season. You Mary picked up its first win last week. Today they had Southwest Minnesota State. It was a good start for the home club. Just the second play from scrimmage. Reggie Morrow lowers the shoulder. He forces a fumble. As you can tell by the home sideline, you Mary recovered in Mustang territory. On the fourth down of the ensuing possession, Sofian Massoud. He has Trayvon Dyson wide open behind the secondary. One of two touchdown catches for Dyson today. The Mustangs were keen on the ground game for most of this one. Donald Austin was a big part in that. Here he burrows in for six. This one would go down to the wire. You marry, though, scores 15 unanswered in the fourth to win their second straight. Minot State was in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. They fall big. A bit of college basketball. The DSU men and you marry women fall in Montana. Both Mystic programs are downed by single digits. And on the ice, Minot wins their 11th in 15 games. The Bobcats fall by three. That's all for sports this Saturday. We wrap up the show after the break.